What's up guys, welcome back to the London car scene. On this wet and rainy day, um, so I've owned this car now for about five months and I've well and truly learned the cost of uh, running it as a daily. So I wanna share with you guys how much it costs to own this car and just run it. So yeah, let's jump inside the A45, go for a spin and I'll talk about how much it's been costing me these last couple of months to own. because otherwise the sound of the exhaust will drown out my voice so the first thing on my list uh, is not insurance a lot of people probably think it's insurance but it's definitely not um, insurance is quite a surprising one on this car especially for me obviously it's going to be different for everyone but we'll get to that once I talk to you about the main thing about driving this car as a daily and obviously I mentioned the word daily so obviously it's going to be petrol um, yeah, petrol in this car is a killer, especially coming from a Astra VXR. Um, so if you're coming from a VXR or an ST, definitely put into consideration the costs of petrol when running this car because it does drink a lot, a lot more than the VXR. Uh, I kind of thought it would, but I didn't expect it to be as much as what it does. I'm constantly spending my time in the petrol station. I thought I did with the VXR, but it's a lot more than that. So uh, yeah, to put it into perspective, um, I drive roughly 30 miles a day in this car to and from my work and I do that five times a week at the weekend I don't really drive the car because I have another car that I drive and it costs me roughly about 50 pounds to fill up each week and that's just uh, running it sorry I'm looking left and right because I'm at a junction that's just running it as a car to work 30 miles every day and it's costing me, costing me 50 quid a week. So yeah, definitely, definitely take that into consideration because I, I, as I said, I did, I did put it in my budget, but I didn't really expect it to be as much as, much as what it is. Um, and also with this car, you need to really run. It tells you on the fuel cap to put in the 98 run stuff, so you really have to put in the the V power or the Tesco momentum, don't put in cheap shit, don't skip out on it because you will pay the price. On an engine like this, you need to keep it in tip top condition so you constantly need to run the best petrol in your engine as you can. So, number one, petrol. Then definitely consider the petrol prices. Obviously, petrol prices rise at the moment. V power in my area, I think it's 147, so it's not cheap. But it's the price you have to pay. If you're buying this car, you need to, you can't think about petrol because it really, that's how much it's going to cost. So, point two is definitely the servicing cost of this car. Um, I think I, I haven't had to do it yet because it was serviced just before I brought the car. It was part of the reason why I brought the car because it was serviced. I mean, I didn't have to think about it for the next is it 12,000 miles or the next year, whichever comes first. So I think service A at Mercedes dealership is about £1,000 and then service B, I think this, the next service due on my one is service B which is about 360 quid, which isn't too bad because it's in the AMG but obviously it's that £1,000 service that you need to think about in the next like, well in the next year when you purchase it, so make sure it's been serviced recently and just make sure that it's been looked after correctly and make sure it has all the paperwork when you buy the car. Tires, you need to consider the brakes. 
brake pads, I know my back ones are wearing suit, so I need to look into the price of phone and buying them. Tires, I own the car, well, as I said, five, six months now. And when I purchased the car, the tires were fairly decent. I did check them, they had a decent amount of tread on. Went for my MOT last month, so I would have owned the car about four months then. And all four new tires need to be replaced. With this car, I definitely don't put budget tires on. You want to put something on like Michelin's or uh, what they had on Continental. So I put Continental's on because it's what they had already. And that set me back, I think it was roughly about 400, 500 pounds for four tires on this car. So there's something that could come up like every now and then, depending on how hard you drive the car. Obviously, that it's going to come around quicker if you drive the car quicker, if you drive it harder. Do launch control, which I actually haven't done in this car yet. You know, you, you want to keep this car up to a high standard, you want to maintain it good. It's the Mercedes, you know, it, it's, and it's an AMG, so it's not going to be cheap parts, uh, for example. Stuff do stuff does go wrong in this car, it's a German car, but it's just, it's German doesn't mean stuff doesn't go wrong. So, for example, my seat pad sensor, my passenger seat goes, so it's just to alert the airbag that someone sat in that seat. And that went, I think, three months into owning the car. How much does that cost? £400. Luckily, I had warranty, which I brought with this car. Um, it's always worth trying to get the warranty, warranty thrown in with the purchase price of the car. Up next is insurance and as I mentioned earlier the insurance was a big surprise for me because when I researched it online I went on to the A45 groups and everyone was saying oh like <clears throat> being in your 20s is going to cost you about a thousand pounds to two grand somewhere in between there and my VXR from memory cost me about 800 pounds for the year uh, so obviously like Mercedes more more expensive car uh, double the price but I didn't know, because I said that in my last video I recently moved house, so I didn't know how the area was going to affect my insurance as well, because the area that you live in also has a lot to do with price and your age. And I think this is make out partly as well, but I thought that. Um, so all in, A45 cost me 500 quid. 500 quid! So it's worth this car for the year. Couldn't believe it. I actually couldn't believe it. Obviously I did quotes before, depending on the time of year when you do quotes, they obviously go up and down. Um, and I was searching for this, I was searching for an A45 since, since I had the VXR, they were always on my list of cars to consider. So obviously I had done quotes on them, and about a year ago when I was researching into them, and I, was, I think I said in one of the videos I was looking at an A45, they were coming back at about a thousand pounds. So I don't really know how it's gone down from a grand to to 500 pounds. I guess I wasn't living in, in the area that I'm living in now and also age, or I'm a year older. So that's obviously helped out quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I think that's mainly the cost of ownership of this car. Obviously without the normal wear and tear items on every car. as it's a Mercedes, so like parts, you just need to consider, keep that in the, in the forefront of your mind that when stuff does go wrong with this car, you're going to have to fork out a little bit, because it is a Mercedes, it's, it is an AMG, so obviously the AMG parts, they obviously put a higher price tag on it than the normal um, Mercedes parts. So that is something just to keep in your mind. Okay guys, let me know if there's anything else you want to know in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so when I do upload, I'm going to be uploading now every Sunday. I'm promising you guys, I've just been so busy recently with the house, the house move, decorating the house and work. But now I'm back on track, I'm going to be uploading weekly. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching. Until next Saturday, see you guys later. Cheers, bye.
Thank you.